let's continue our exploration about Windows 65. And today, Microsoft released Windows 65 to public. And in this video, uh, together we will do register for trial. And then we will try to do some operation into the cloud PC. And then we will do some benchmark like speed benchmark and then this benchmark. Before that, don't forget to subscribe so you will not miss any video and you will get notification when new video is published. Okay, let's start it. Okay, let me start by open Windows 365 pricing page. Okay, I will share this pricing page in the description below. Yeah, so there is two big package of Windows 365. The first one is business. The second one is the enterprise. Uh, on the home page, it shown uh, there is three package: basic, standard, and premium. As you see, uh, there the difference between three of them, yeah, is about uh, specification: the number of vCPU, number of uh, memory, yeah. But they are using the same storage, okay. But if we compare with the enterprise, yeah, let's we compare with the enterprise. We see that the pricing is same, yeah. But don't uh, don't forget that the enterprise is required for you to having the Windows 365, uh, having the Windows 10 Enterprise uh, license, yeah. Okay, let's focus on the business plan, okay. And then uh, see uh, the, on the below, there is the all plans and pricing, okay. In this page, it will be described about the detail uh, option for the plan and pricing. Yeah, from the one vCPU, the for the one vCPU only having option that two gigabyte uh, memory, and then sixty four gigabyte storage. Uh, it expand in the two vCPU. Yeah, uh, which getting having a uh, up to two fifty six gigabyte memory storage I mean and then the highest one is 8 vCPU and you can get up to 32 gigabyte RAM and 512 gigabyte storage uh, you see here there is two uh, pricing here yeah the first one is monthly subscription yeah the second one is monthly subscription with Windows hybrid benefit yeah what the difference of it yeah okay let's we see the okay number two Okay, what is the Windows Hybrid benefit? The Windows Hybrid benefit is when you already having Windows 10 Pro license in a device. Yeah, it means if your device is currently using Windows 10 Pro or even better Windows Enterprise, you can use the hybrid uh, benefit. Yeah, and the price is uh, about four dollar. Yeah. Yeah, four dollar uh, cheaper, okay. Of course, uh, in my PC, I using the WinFair. Let's see. Okay, I'm using Windows Ten. Windows Ten. Yeah, let's see the f uh, edition of it. Oh, Windows Ten Enterprise. In my PC, I'm using Windows Ten Enterprise. Yeah, uh, Windows Ten Enterprise is the upgrade version of the Windows Pro so basically I already have the license of Windows Pro but in my, my organization also having a Windows 10 Enterprise license so basically I have both and I'm eligible for Windows hybrid benefit okay let's back to the basic one okay let's we try to register okay try the for two months okay Continue with higher uh, continue with Windows Hybrid benefit. Okay, I have the Windows 365. Uh, I have the Windows Enterprise license, so I choose the uh, Windows Hybrid benefit. Okay, this is my organization uh, email. Continue. Okay. Let's do the trial. 60 day subscription. One user. 
Okay. Now uh, it's time to allocate the license. Okay, let's we enable the Windows 365. Okay, save change. Okay. Okay, so what should we do now? Let's go to the Windows 365. If I'm not mistaken, the URL is the windows365.microsoft.com. Oh, it's not assigned new cloud PC. Oh, okay. So apparently maybe should wait maybe like one minute, yeah. Setting up your cloud PC. So I don't set up anything. Let's just use the default setting. What should I, what? Uh, the next is enable. Let's just push next. Oh, just some uh, Q and A about what is cloud PC, yeah. But the setup is not done yet. Let's just do get started. Okay, the PC is still setting up. Yeah. A few moments later. Okay, the setup cloud PC setup is done. Yeah, it takes about fifteen minutes. Yeah. Let's we open it, uh, open in browser. I expecting having some kind of uh, username password, but I don't see where I should put it. Yeah. Okay. Still, okay. Oh, I can use uh, local clipboard, microphone, file transfer, or to preview. Just check it, yeah. Allow. Oh yeah, this is the username and password. Yay! This is our cloud PC. A few moments later. While we wait, let's discuss about uh, another client. Yeah. So other than you can uh, access it using web browser, currently I'm using Google Chrome. Yeah. You can also access using uh, Windows Virtual uh, Windows Remote Desktop. It's using the Remote Desktop, the the one with the icon orange, yeah, not the old one. I don't know. Can we access using the old one, or the RDP one? Okay, maybe we'll try it later, yeah. Okay, yeah. If you uh, this is kind of integrate with your. Uh, Microsoft 365 account so it will uh, getting uh, info about list of virtual list of cloud PC that you having set up to your account yeah your Microsoft 365 account okay just minimize it we will try it uh, later yeah and this is our cloud PC okay Okay, now what? <laughs> Let's sign in about this. Let's sign in. Okay, I get signed in to, into my uh, company's teams. Yeah, Let's just minimize it for now. Okay, what we have here? Oh, it's already pre-installed uh, office. Okay, of course, we should try to, uh, okay, okay, just setting the Chrome, or oh, I mean Edge, Okay, of course the f oh, of course the first one we do is uh, we open uh, 
google.com slash chrome okay currently i already opened several window here yeah let's just close it yeah let's test the capability of resubbing yeah currently we uh we resum from the de from the browser into the remote desktop app okay we double click here okay it's connecting to the cloud pc and it's on currently i'm using two uh two monitor here yeah the first one in my laptop and the second one is uh on the extra monitor and the cloud pc is showing in the both monitor okay so let's just continue using this the first monitor huh? okay let's do some benchmark the first one I do is let's do a speed test. Let's see about the speed. Is it as the same like the one that uh, demo by the Microsoft? Yeah. Okay. Let's change it into Singtel. Okay. And go. Whoa. Not really whoa, yeah, but still whoa. <laughs> it's about 1.3 Gbps, okay, and the uh, uplink is about 2.5 to 3 Gbps, okay. Let's try another one. Let's try another one uh about let's try to m1 okay pretty much same yeah pretty much the same let's try uh okay just try the star hub Okay, pretty much the same. It's about 1.5 Gbps downlink uh, and previously shown about 2.5 to uh, 3 Gbps. Yeah, I believe my my current cloud PC is located in, oh, 4.5, yeah. My current cloud PC is located in Singapore because I'm uh, my location is in Indonesia. Okay, so... Uh, the micro uh, the cloud PC is uh, placed in the nearest location uh, or in the same location with Microsoft 365 tenant. Okay. Next, let's do the uh, benchmark of the uh, this drive. Yeah, let's do using this one. This mark. Let's see how fast is it. Okay, we're done with the crystal disk mark. This was the tools for us to do a benchmark to the hard disk. Yeah, uh, apparently the speed is kind of par with a uh, SATA SSD. Okay, so maybe if we uh, later we or the other video we try with the enterprise, we'll get a better experience. But I don't know. Yeah, uh, let's move on to how the experience to uh, how's the experience for watching a video let's open the google chrome 
let's open my channel. Okay, let's we open the okay this one. Okay, the experience for uh, playing video with 30 FPS is kind of good, yeah. So you can consume a uh, video uh, with fine, yeah. You can consume video without any problem. So how about the video with 60 FPS? Okay. Don't forget, every Monday, every Sunday, I post about uh, my gaming video. Yeah, let's... Uh, see the latest one. Of course, we will uh, do 1080-60. Let it buffer for a while. Let's see the experience, uh, whether it can deliver the 60 FPS. Yeah. Wow. Not really 60 FPS. It's maybe like 24 or 20, uh, less than 30 FPS. Okay. Let's do win R. Win fair. Okay, this one also Windows 10 Enterprise. Let's do a copy paste for a file. Oh, okay. Let's do uh let's do file copy paste from the host into the uh cloud PC. Let's see. Okay, I can. I have a video to try. This one is about one hundred fifty-seven uh, megabyte. Yeah, let's do a copy paste here. Let's. I will do copy, and then uh, paste it to to cloud PC. Paste. Oh, okay. It can do copy paste. So let's see the speed. Well, I only have a uh, ten megabit per second. Uh, uplink so I expect it will take all of them yeah about 10 mbps okay just cancel it yeah okay how about uh, it take the local resource like camera does it have a camera oh so it's uh, this Cloud PC is apparently taking a local resource like camera. Okay, that's my experience registering for Windows 365 trial and then set it up into my Microsoft 365 tenant, uh, trying out into uh, several operations like uh, copy paste a file from host into the Cloud PC, Try several, uh, several, trying a resource like camera and then do some benchmark like this benchmark, speed, speed benchmark and try the experience for watching video in Cloud PC. That's it for today. 